Hi guys, I am Taurus with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. This message is going to be for the week ahead in love, romance, finance, ascension messages, whatever messages Spirit wants you to know right now about the type of energies that may be going on, any kind of spiritual awakenings that may be happening for some of us, uh, what have you. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Before I do, let me go ahead and tell you guys the I am affirmations actually because I have a habit of forgetting them. If I wait at the end. So the first one is money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I am a positive person and affected by the negativity of others. I am courageous. Okay, guys, let's see what the cards have us have for us today. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing really good. My back is finally feeling so, so much better. Almost normal. So I have very little pain, but um, I have a lot more movement than I had before. For the reason I was told to split in the middle. So the first card is Lumeria Returns. And I was also told to take the top three. So we're going to take these top three here. They never tell me to split down the middle and take that card. That was pretty weird. However, I always go with the flow. Whatever spirit tells me to do is what I'm going to do. So the first card that came out for us is Lumeria Returns. This is all about the connection with your earthly spirituality, connection with crystals, um, water, ocean magic, uh, earth magic, and uh, rituals. It could also be about communing and um, also sharing your gifts, your talents, whether it be spiritual talents, spiritual gifts, or natural, um, and starting to trade people for their talents and gifts. So if you need a carpenter at your house, you know, um, I would be able to tell them like, Hey, I can give you a couple healing sessions. If you come over and fix such and such in my, uh, you know, garage or what have you, you know, just starting to trade back and forth people's uh, talents for talents. Okay. So some of you are getting into doing this. There's more and more, um, I don't want to say websites, but like groups and things on social media that are starting to form where people are helping each other, even, uh, coming together, buying land together and then splitting the land off and, and, um, building their own houses and stuff. But there's so many people that are just coming together. They're getting tired of like the rigmarole from the government and everything that happens with all of that kind of stuff, you know? So a lot of people are just getting away from things of that sort. Even a lot of you, um, that this card is resonating with probably are tired of buying groceries from grocery stores. You're tired of giving money to big corporations instead of farming your own or, uh, killing your own food, whatever it is that resonates with you. But anyway, we have experiments, and sometimes when I see this card, I instantly get this feeling, like I am now, this eerie feeling of ego attacking people. So what do I mean by that? So a lot of you are having a lot of illusional thoughts, delusional thoughts, letting the fear um, creep in too much before you start thinking about something positive and spirits like, look, you guys have got to start working on uh, thinking positively acting as if you already have something, manifesting things into your reality by uh, changing your thought patterns into something of a higher vibration, okay? And this is for, I'm speaking to many people, okay, right now. Um, this is also a, a time of like getting rid of like the arrogant part of people, the, also the self-centered part of people that... Um, you know, tells them to worry about themselves and not focus on the whole, you know, the collective as a whole. Are you doing things that are going to help everybody or is this just for your benefit? Okay, so there's so there's a lot of things that are coming up that have to do with questions like that or what have you. But there's also a time of people getting rid of this arrogance, these fears, the ego. Sometimes some of you are too much in the logic and not into the heart space or too much into the heart space and not using your logic. So there's like this really fine balance. But what a lot of people are doing is clearing a lot of this stuff. Again, they're moving into an energy of feeling more uh, self-empowered, like they're moving up a little bit more successful. I do feel, however, like some of you are going to have like this energy of feeling very successful, but also still feeling kind of like something just ain't right. Something just isn't moving forward. There's something that still isn't um, exactly where it needs to be. you got to remember that whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, 
it's going to be a process. Not everything just happens overnight. And you know, some of you are like, well, I've been waiting six, seven years, Trish. Divine timing, when it's at play, there's nothing that's going to change that course, okay? So things have been hidden from you so that you don't know exactly what's going to happen. There's information that may be being kept from you from the universe, your angels, your guidance, your higher self, whatever it is that you normally connect with. However, a lot of that stuff is starting to be revealed to you. You're starting to move forward in a different direction. You're feeling more empowered, more uh, led uh, to to want to do more with whatever it is that it's referring to, whether it be a relationship, a new career, starting a business, being an entrepreneur, whatever. You know, starting a new, uh, starting to clear out these fears and doubts so you can become more connected with spirit or your spiritual gifts. But there's a lot of empowerment here. But a lot of visions are starting to come to people when it comes to connecting with. Um, their star seed connections. So some of you are starting to dream about ETs or other beings from other planets, um, beings of higher intelligence, beings of higher awareness, higher consciousness. Um, and a lot of you are connecting with them during dream time, maybe lucid dreaming. Maybe some of you are even astral traveling when you're meditating or um, even having like connections with them through crystals. Maybe you're connecting with crystals and all of a sudden you're like feeling like you're zoning out to another place and you're starting to connect with them. But I do feel a very strong sense of people connecting with their star seed connections or other aspects of themselves or from other dimensions. You guys got to remember we're multi-dimensional beings we exist in many different realities simultaneously at the same time we exist in so many other places okay we're experiencing many different types of life forms so that we can learn okay so and evolve our soul but some of you are connecting in like this way of like zoning out and kind of drifting into another place maybe still being consciously aware in this physical body but kind of zoning off into another space and what i mean is like in your head space you're kind of thinking of another place or maybe even physically looking with your eyes to a certain way and you can see multiple dimensions i've done that many many times it can actually happen the more that you meditate the more that you connect and and get rid of lower vibrating energies out of your life the more that you're connected with other dimensions other beings spiritual aspects of yourself that would uh you know make you have some sort of gifts as people like to call them but it's not really gifts guys it's like abilities that are always there they're just laying dormant until you start to awaken yourself to them Okay, so everybody's got the same type of gifts that I do. It's about taking the time to open them up, uh, taking the time to trust, healing aspects of yourself that um, need to be healed or what have you. But I do feel like a lot of people are kind of at this crossroads type place where they know that they're moving forward. They don't no longer feel like they're moving backwards or staying stuck. But at the same time, there is some sort of aspect. I keep feeling like there's a hair tickling the crap on my nose. Sorry, guys, if it... If I keep touching my face, it just is tickling the crap out of me every once in a while. Um, but at some sort of crossroads where you feel like a little bit of something still hasn't transformed or it's like you feel as if it's not moving forward with the rest of you that's moving forward. For me, it's my finances. You know, um, I would be I, I would be doing really, really good all of a sudden and then like something you know, will happen to where I have to spend extra money on a certain bill or something with my car would came up or I just started becoming very, very slow in my business in the past couple months. And, you know, it is what it is. Life shows up. But some of you are going through situations where you feel like something is just not trailing like you feel the success, but maybe the finances aren't coming with it yet. It's a slow moving increase of finances. So that's where I'm at. Maybe some of you guys are feeling that as well because I was inclined to share that kind of story. But a lot of you are getting to this place of getting a lot of peace and joy out of the success that you're starting to feel. Out of the connections that you're starting to have and things like that. And um, what I'm getting right now is that many of you are having like this major uh, epiphany that your life doesn't have to be how it always was. That you are capable of manifesting so many different realities and tapping into so many different timelines by just meditating and getting rid of these lower vibrating energies. A lot of you are even experimenting on how to get rid of certain things, how to heal certain aspects of your life, how to change certain character defects so that you're a better person than you was before. You know, but a lot of heart awakenings, joy, peace, um, these epiphanies where you just like have this, you know, 
feeling like I need to change this aspect of my life. I need to quit doing this or I need to quit hanging out with so-and-so or I need to quit talking in this way or wearing this type of clothes. Whatever it is that you are feeling inclined to do and change, it's creating some sort of ripple effect in your heart that is expanding it. Also clearing out a lot of these lower vibrating energies. It's uh, probably even helping you to feel more connected with you know, the plant and tree beings, nature, um, maybe even the angels and other beings, but you know, there's definitely a sense of people just really feeling like things are coming together, even though, like I said, there's bits and pieces of their life that may not be fitting that way. You still know that you're moving ahead. It's making you happy. It's bringing you more joy and peace. So some of you may feel as if you're in a trickster energy though. Like you feel like, okay, like when is it going to shift? When is it going to change? I've been feeling like that. I'm like, okay, I feel the success coming. I'm picking up more with this, this and that. And you know, um, However, like it doesn't seem like the money is getting there, but I've got to remember what spirit is telling me is like, but hello, it's not really a trickster energy. You got to remember your daughter just moved in. There's more food that you're having to buy, putting extra money out in this direction, that direction, blah, 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 blah. So it's not really that I'm not catching up financially or the finances aren't catching up to the success that I'm feeling. It's more so that there's other miracles that are happening in my life and they're pulling from me as well. So there's a lot of adjusting that's happening. Uh, many of you are starting to feel as if there's like some chaos and confusion in your life. But at the same time, you're knowing that there's success. You're knowing that something is turning around and there's a lot of love, a lot of laughter, a lot of feeling of coming together, gratitude, things of that sort. So you're going to feel trickster energy or maybe it's just you thinking that or some chaos and confusion, but it's really just that, um, you know, some things are being worked out in your benefit and it just feels that way for now, or it's just an illusion that's coming along with that energy or what have you. So the next word that we got out, it really goes hand in hand with Yemma, which is about freedom, self-expression, uh, self-love coming together, um, getting back to your origins and things of that sort. And, this card right here is about a love of life or falling in love with life all over again. So there's some things starting to go really well for you, even though some things are kind of back in the back skirts, still kind of catching up. 1221, look that up on Sacred Scribes. That is a mirror. But anyway, um, you know, falling in love with life all over again, which is also creating more freedom, more peace of mind, more peace in your heart, a feeling of things just coming together and, and fitting finally. You know, even some of the puzzle pieces that you may have had, um, you know, things that you've remembered that spirit is like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And you had like these clairvoyant visions and then like two or three years have went by and you're like, well, why hasn't it happened yet? That stuff is starting to manifest in some of y'all's life. And what it's going to do is it's going to feel like, wait a minute, I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought you was leading me in a different direction. And spirit's going to be like, no, we were just showing you things that were coming ahead. So some of you are going to start to even realize that you've had clairvoyant visions for quite some time that you didn't even know that you was tapping into. But now spirit is showing you all of these things. And that's giving you like more inspiration to tap into nature more or tap into connection with the connection with the divine or using your spiritual gifts and tapping into them and studying about the different things that have to do with you know spiritual connections and how to get there you know watching videos that are gonna that are gonna help you but you know a lot of you are really getting to this place of really enjoying this journey because you're starting to reap the benefits the rewards the miracles you know things are starting to fit together that you've already seen is going to happen so and that's kind of where i'm at right now so i completely get this type of energy which cards do i go to now please which cards do I go to, please? Okay, they keep showing me these, which is always so weird to me because I feel like these are like a romance and love um, type of card deck, but I keep, they kept directing me towards them. So let's see what kind of messages that these cards have for us. Okay, one of them wanted to come out. So there's some sort of situation in your life that is improving at this time. It could be your spiritual health, mental, physical, emotional. It could just be some sort of, um, 
establishment is what I'm feeling like getting established in some sort of way in your life. So whether it be financially within a business, within a, a partnership romantically or with just a family member or what have you. But I do feel like this card is referring to like even matters of the heart because they were telling me to put it on top of the heart card, which means that it's connected in that way and in some way, shape or form to that also with Lemuria returns, which is about that earthly connection. So maybe some of you just don't know how to connect quite yet with the earth earth or with the plant and tree beings or maybe with spirit in general but spirit is saying that you know these things are going to improve however you have to put in the time and energy and trying to to man to um, manifest meditate um, go out and take walks get your mind quiet in some way shape or form or just don't quit don't uh, leave five minutes before the miracle happens 15 15 but something is definitely improving I feel like for many of you this is going to be a little bit more stability in finances and in romantic relationships for whatever reason that has been like a main focus here in the past probably month maybe a tad bit under or a tad bit over but um so some of you may resonate with that when it comes to romance they told me to get another one of these cards so let's see out oh, two came out okay so there's something that they're saying is going to happen within the next few weeks. If you've been waiting on somebody to return to you, or maybe if you've been off work and, you know, with some sort of health issue, this is saying, you know, within the next few weeks, you're going to return or that person's going to return or something major is going to shift or change. For some of you, I do believe, again, this is finance. This is something to do with an increase in finances. I am seeing money bags. I'm also seeing money being given to people, like somebody's hand being put out and somebody else's hands putting money money into that person's hand so somebody may be giving you money even uh paying you or what have you and then um for some of you they're showing me to read this this weight card with this for some of you this won't resonate with everybody but for some of you there's an energy of not being able to see things that are coming ahead anymore. You maybe you're somebody that are very clairvoyant all of a sudden you felt like you lost the ability to see into the future. Spirit said they stopped it for a moment. It's not that you can't see into the future anymore. It's not that you aren't going to always, uh, you know, be like this. Those visions will eventually come back when they're needed or with whatever they're needed for. But there's some sort of situation in your life at this time that spirits like, we don't need you to know what's getting ready to happen. If you knew what was going to happen, you'd probably run the other way. You'd probably have so much fear and be so much in the ego, that ego that I was talking about with this card, that you'd be like, oh, no, no, I got to run because I don't want to get hurt or I don't want to go through this type of energy again. But spirits like, it's not going to be the same exact way. There's a lot of improvements. However, you're going to be feeling like you're waiting to get information about certain aspects of your life. It could be in romance it could be with a career you know or um for some of you it's going to have something to do with borrowing money so some maybe some of you have been wanting to ask somebody if you could borrow money or maybe it's to even ask a bank to lend you money so that you can start some sort of business because i do feel like business is a big part of this people starting to put more time and energy into things that make them happy and make their heart expand so um I'm going to get you a blessing card real quick. Thank you. The blessing of positive thought. Each time you notice a negative thought cross your mind, stop and consciously replace it with a positive one. Practice, the, practice this until the pattern is broken. You will set yourself free. This is a blessing you give to yourself. It will lead you to a feeling of deep peace and contentment. For some of you, I, I, whatever reason, I'm feeling as if this is referring to a romantic relationship that you may have been worried about how it's going to connect or if it'll ever connect again or something like that. But this card is a good indicator for whoever has been thinking about that, that there is going to be some sort of coming together or situation improving with that. Okay. Of course, that's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, guys, don't forget that I do have a, uh, free reading giveaway that'll be given away um, on the first of the uh, March and it'll be for anybody that is liking this video as well as putting some sort of comment into the comments with the date. Um, I have to see the date because that lets me know 
um, that I'm putting your name on this list as many times as you're doing this with what, however many videos you're doing it with. Next month, I think that I'm going to start doing like a different affirmation for each of the YouTube videos like I am love. And if you put that in, in the video, then you'll be put on the list for the free reading giveaway so that I don't have to really write so many different names down and um I mean, uh, dates down. I'll just know by the affirmation. But anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Much love to you guys. Bye.